Hey YouTube, Big Eric Baby here with another Battlefield 4 quick tip. Today we'll be going over the field of view setting and how it affects you in game. If you're looking at my screen right now, you might be asking why everything looks claustrophobic compared to my normal gameplay, and that would be because I have my field of view set to the lowest setting, which is 60. You can see the skull on the background, the x ray there, and it's a pretty decent size at this field of view, but notice you can't see the corner of the room to our right or the doorway to our left. Now let's up the field of view setting to 90 and see what happens. You're probably wondering why nothing changed after I uh, resume, but you just need to ADS or move around and it will refresh. Now notice that at a 90 field of view we can see the doorway to the left and most of the corner of the room on our right, which is where a lot of people like to hide out. We only have to slightly move the mouse to see the rest of the corner, so you can see the medium benefit of having a higher field of view. Notice that same skull x-ray in the background looks a lot smaller, and it's not too hard to hit right now, but it's not a very far range, and the 60 field of view was definitely easier to see the skull. You might also notice that you can see more of your gun on the screen while not aiming, but it also takes up less screen space as well, potentially reducing the amount of times your gun might cover up an enemy and you don't know it. Up the field of view one more time to the maximum 120, and you will notice an even more drastic effect on the field of view. Now you get an even more peripheral vision, and you can run to this room and instantly know if anyone has surrounded you, but notice how small that skull looks in the back of the room now. I'm going to take some shots at that skull as the video ends with the three different fields of view again, but I want to hear what field of view settings you guys use and why you use them. I use 90, it's what I've used in Battlefield 3, and I think it just provides a nice balance between far detail and your peripheral vision. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you didn't know what the field of view setting in Battlefield did, I hope I helped you out. I would recommend to anyone to go in the test range and try out the different settings, but as you change your field of view, your ADS sensitivity will change for only the iron sights and one time zoom sights. I'm not really sure why. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments which setting you use, and don't forget to subscribe for more Battlefield 4 quick tips coming soon. Thanks for watching.